Welcome back! We've just finished installing VMware Workstation. Our next step will be to install OpenSense. Now, this will be very similar to our VirtualBox installation. The only difference will be how we create the virtual machine and how we assign the network adapters. The installation process itself will be pretty similar, so I won't go into exact details as I did with VirtualBox. So if you do need an exact step-by-step -step guide, feel free to rewatch that video. So let's create some tasks for ourselves to ensure that we're on the right track. And here's what we want to accomplish. So first, we want to create a new virtual machine in VMware Workstation. We will assign two network adapters to our new virtual machine. We'll ensure the first adapter is assigned to the VM Net 10 network, ensure the second adapter is assigned to the bridge network, and add a static IP for the LAN network, which will be 172.20.20.254, and that will be on a slash 24 network. And we'll leave the WAN to obtain an IP address through DHCP. And lastly, we'll enable the DHCP service on the LAN network with the IP range 172.20.20.10 to 172.20.20.100. So let's begin. I'll open up VMware Workstation. I'll click on Create a new virtual machine. Then we get the new virtual machine wizard. For the type configuration that we want, we'll choose Typical, then click on Next. For the guest operating system installation, we have three options. I'll select the option, I will install the operating system later, then click Next. For the guest operating system, I will choose Other, then FreeBSD, 14, 64-bit. I'll name the virtual machine, OpenSense-VM. And I'll leave the location, to be my VM storage folder inside of my D drive and click Next. For my disk capacity, I'll leave it at 20 gigabytes and then select Store Virtual Disk as a single file and then click Next. At Ready to Create Virtual Machine section, I'll click on Customize Hardware. Then I'll increase my memory to 2 gigabytes or 2048 megabytes. I can either click on the slider to increase it, or I can modify the current value. For processors, I'll change the number of processors to be 2. At New CD slash DVD IDE option, I'll choose Use ISO Image, then click Browse. Go to my Downloads folder. I'll select my OpenSense ISO file and select that. I'll change my network adapter from NAT to custom, then select VMNet 10. I'll click on Add another device. I'll click on Network Adapter, then click on Finish. I'll change the network connection from NAT to Bridge Connection. And with that, I'll click on Finish and let VMware Workstation build the new virtual machine. Once my virtual machine creation is completed, I'll click on Power On This Virtual Machine to start the new OpenSense VM. I'll wait a few minutes for the media to boot. We get this little pop-up window that is telling me that my virtual machine performance will be degraded. I'll click on Do Not Show Me This Message Again and then click OK. I'll increase the size of my virtual machine window. I'll click on View, then Stretch Guess, and then Free Stretch. Once the boot process is completed, we can now proceed with the installation. Similar to what we did in VirtualBox, I'll enter the username installer and the password will be OpenSense. And from here, I'll quickly go through the setup process. Once the installation is done, I'll reboot and wait for it to come back online. And once it's up, I'll log in with my username root and password OpenSense.
Just a quick glance at this screen, you can see we have our LAN connection assigned to EM0 with the IP address 192.168.1.1 and this is the default IP network that OpenSense assigns to your LAN connection. And our WAN connection is assigned to EM1 with the IP address 10.10.10.69/24, and this IP address was automatically assigned to my WAN connection through my DHCP server on my home network. And from here, we'll want to modify our LAN network, so we'll assign the IP address to be 172.20.20.254. And I'll also enable the DSP service on the LAN network with the IP range 172.20.20.10 to 172.20.20.100. And once I'm done with this, I'll just proceed. And we're asked some questions about the HTTPS and certificates. I'll just say no to all of these. It's just three questions. So I'll just press enter three times. And with that, we're done. Our OpenSense router is configured and is ready to hand out IP addresses. So in the next video, we'll be installing Windows Server 2022, and after we're done with that, we will move on to Hyper-V. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. If you find the information helpful, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thank you.